never been easier to purchase IELTS books with the show. Just go to tiki.vn and with just one mouse click, you'll be able to find the perfect IELTS books you've been waiting for. Purchase anywhere and receive discounts. Go to tiki.vn and buy. Hi, Phoebe. We heard that you're gonna have a boy, a new boy. Oh, you're getting married, right? No, 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 I think Can you, guys... you have an exclusive interview for us? No, 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 Maybe I don't think it's a magazine. Nah, are we yes, supposed please. to start? Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, just go start. ahead, yeah. No, I, 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 right I think this is really something. I think something is wrong. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's going on? No, the show is giving me a lot, a lot of clues. I think this is another clue. But I gotta calm down. Calm down. Find out what the clue is. Let's take a look at this, please. Hi, my name is Thu Ming. I am a creative director and a TV host. I've done many shows on TV and other digital platforms. I started my writing career at Huang Chao Magazine, the most popular one for teens in 2001. I published uh, two books, one love story collection titled Biology, and the most recent one is Ming and Ling, We Travel the World. I knew it. The show is always giving me all these twists and turns. It is Tui Ming. I'm excited to meet her and she is definitely a celebrity and a famous person. I'm so excited to meet one of her leading media personalities and I've been watching her for the past six, seven years and she's right there. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Have a seat. Yes. Yep. All right. Are you ready for the show? I think so. Well, uh, get comfortable in your seat. Yes. And we're going to start. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to face off? Hey there, we're back in the studio with our lovely guest, Thuy Ming. Hello, Welcome. everyone. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with the first question. And I think it's, it's kind of standard in the way that the question is going to be. Um, but, you know, you, you take on so many hats. Um, you know, you were also a journalist. You're a VJ. You're an MC. You're a book writer. You're a mom. So what is the one occupation that literally is at the top of your head right now? Being a mom. I can do many, many different jobs. But the one that always be at the top of mind would be a mom but being a mom not only that taking care of your kids but that means you kind of adapt and apply all the knowledge about being a mom into your work mm -hmm. for example i work on kids programs mm -hmm. i write books about traveling with kids so which is it's kind of big umbrella over all the hats mm -hmm. i've watched a lot of your shows and i've also listened to a lot of your work and you actually have a really sharp eye and really sharp ability to analyze the things that are very mundane and normal. Thank you. Where does that sharp eye come from? It's from eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Uh, <laughs> two of them. Uh, there are two. Um, I guess it's always start from who you are at the very beginning. As a child, I always love to read and read through the letters and the words, right? And then when I meet people, I would like to read people. So it's. Um, it's just like someone really myself, and then it's, it's, it's going to work, and then I always kind of always like that, that direction to go with content. Like, I love analyzing. I don't like anything being a very normal surface. I would mm -hmm. like to see, go deeper in it, and see why it's like that, and how it's like that. I think it's very natural from who I am. So amongst all of the people that you have interviewed in the past, um, what is the one conversation that you remember the most? Mm. Oh my God, there's so many. It's hard if, <laughs> if I can. I know the most uh, pressure interview is when I interview Katy Perry. So the pressure is not from her, but from her crew and the UN flew a security guy from England just to protect her and the whole gem center, the fourth floor, just like blocked and like nobody can get in. All that kind of thing, it just, just makes things so heavy. But 
She's very, just very casual. Mm -hmm. She's like walking around. So uh, it's given me a very uh, interesting angle of how things work and how celebrity, mm -hmm. if you look at them in front and they all this flashy, and, but then you look behind. I was literally just behind her when she giving uh, a speech uh, on behalf of UNICEF. And then I saw that she struggled with there's so many words and then you, <laughs> you just have to follow all the words of the script and then she's like, um, so it's kind of precious. Yeah. You know, one of the things that I'm, I'm very curious to know about you and also your thought, people think that what, whoever's in the limelight, mm. whoever's doing whatever you're doing, you know, will face mm. multiple competition from elsewhere. Mm. And do you think that it's necessary? And how do you deal with that? I could say that I'm so against that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but here's the thing, if you put all the barrier mm -hmm. to defy somebody or to give, this is a title of you and pass all that, I feel like I would very just fail from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Because when I start my career, I'm just so different from people. Mm -hmm. um, everyone have a, a, a formula of things that they, and then I think competition is like that. There's mm -hmm. a wouldn't be scale that basically you find people that fit in your box and then you just get out of that being square like a box mm -hmm. so i um really don't believe in it love that i i think you know all, all the time people talk about healthy competition mm -hmm. or people talk about like oh you know i gotta be different mm -hmm. or i gotta stand out right yeah, yeah, yeah. but i think that is I totally agree with you. I think it's, it's a, an immature way to mm, kind of think yeah, about yeah. professional development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really believe in, in some courses. It's not about uh, compete each other, but it's about compete with knowledge that you could Absolutely. get. Absolutely. Yeah. And always train and educate and yes. always invest in your own you know, personal development. Yes, yes. So talking about development and talking about the fact that you, know, you don't talk about your personal <laughs> life enough, you have two kids and you have a family. How do you discipline mm. your kids? I'm very a, a free kid. Uh, when I was little, but my mom and dad uh, was very strict to me. Like for example, I didn't didn't get to watch TV after 7 p.m. Are you serious? So when oh when gosh. I was in high school, everyone talking about this like a, this movie is a cool movie everyone's watching, and I'm like I had no idea. Even now, my dad still to ask me to go home around 9 p.m. Right? Oh, wow. So <laughs> so that's where I come from. But actually, I, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that you're so free. But then there will be rules that you have to find your way to get away, <laughs> right? So with my kids, I kind of apply the same rules. Like I'm so strict, but in the same time, I'm, I'm open for the fact that they won't break it out somehow. Mm -hmm. Don't get to watch TV that much. <laughs> Don't get to play games. Yeah. Uh, have to wake up and do everything themselves. Is that how I kind of train them? <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be a person who's lived an easy life or a difficult life? Oh my God, my life is so difficult <laughs> <laughs> till this moment, okay? I think part of my personality is to track all the dramas to come. <laughs> it's like, there's a one saying that uh, life is like a carpet, right? Mm -hmm. if, if more things happen, more difficulties, more fun, then there will be very colorful, different patterns. And then if your life is very smooth and it would be simple, gray, kind of carpet. It doesn't matter, it's like it's still a carpet, but I guess everyone have a different carpet and I, my life was kind of difficult one. Go back to your question. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's, it's good difficult now, right? Because when you're young, yeah. it's like bad difficult, but yeah. then now it's good difficult. Yeah, I kind of figure that everything should have some hiccups before you, you get to some point. Mm -hmm. And now I'm reading that uh, book, the Homo sapiens and the Homo deus. Oh, the, yeah. So they explain all the kind of difficulties that make you quite happy later. I, I can't believe in that. I don't mind difficulties. Mm -hmm. But as long as you have to pass that and then achieve something later. You and, and your unit is in this collective, this one little room, mm -hmm. right? And then the whole world is just this moving thing that's outside. <laughs> you know, um, d would you consider yourself to be a person who's very inner and you know like very self-centered like not self-centered i'm sorry but like very actually centered. it's self-centered <laughs> it's like it's like totally i mean i'm still in the ego season kind of thing right <laughs> every kid when you were little you would think that you were the center of the world right yeah. and for me that that thought is following right <laughs> until i'm now and i'm still believing that you are the center of the world mm -hmm. and you you see things from your angles mm -hmm. even how many things you can adapt a lot of things but you is you and then you the core of everything mm -hmm. So it's true that I use my own 
things in my personal uh, life to, as a, like I, we just shared before, like a lens I see the world. Because this is a show, it's an educational yes, show, yes. do you have any tips for our young generation, mm. um, given all the things that you've been through? Mm. I think uh, there's a lot of time people wouldn't tell, especially with young people, inexperienced, a lot of time there's people would tell you this is you cannot do, this is you don't want to do, only you can answer that. Mm. So trust yourself, you believe in yourself, you would not listen just very generally whoever talking to you with this and that. Absolutely. So I think that will be something I always try to tell the next generation. I absolutely agree with you. Mm -hmm. People have to be confident and secure in whatever mm -hmm. they want to do and whatever mm -hmm. the de decisions they make. Yeah. yeah. So thanks a lot for coming. Thank you for having me. I mean, I never be this confident. I can interview, but mm. I kind of not that good at answering questions. <laughs> Well, there's going to be another thing. I think you're going to be able to, to talk, oh you know, my which God. is your specialty, in the next IELTS challenge section. So shall we go I, there? I don't feel good about this section. <laughs> I think okay. it's going to be fantastic. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so IELTS challenge coming right up next. Guys, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. So this is the IELTS challenge, and this is the five seconds game. We're going to get some questions, and each of us are going to have five seconds to basically name the things that's being asked. So let's get started. Okay. Name the friends of you from the kindergarten. I say whatever. B. Uh, duck. Uh. <laughs> oh. Uh, two. Uh, three. How? Uh, name. <laughs> are they real? <laughs> I'm just taking your name. <laughs> Name your favorite cartoon. Tom and Jerry, Lion King, Peppa Pig, Ping Pong. The Incredible, Cinderella, Snow White, and Seven Dwarfs, Sleeping Beauty, Rapunzel, um, Moana. Name the celebrities or influencers you followed on Facebook or Instagram. Orlando Generous, uh, um, oh. <laughs> um, uh, Ellen, Oprah, um, Hillary Clinton, uh, Name the worst movies that you've watched. Oh, so many. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> the, the movie's called... Um, <laughs> that really is an interesting oh. movie. <laughs> um, um, Harold and Kumar goes to White Castle. <laughs> that is a horrible movie. <laughs> Name your favorite food. Um, pho. <laughs> <laughs> she only likes two. Um, uh, French fries, steak, bun bun hui, foie gras, um, pasta, salad. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you <laughs> for having fun. me. <laughs> well, guys, don't go away. We have the next section coming right up next. It is the IELTS expert section, and you'll get some great tips. <laughs> next. Say hi to the coastal city of Nha Chau, and Tung Dak will take you to one of the most beautiful campuses of Tôn Đức Thắng University and this group of students. They're going to share with you their target and also difficulties in studying English. Who will be the one out of them to be brave enough and to the speaking test room in the simulated real-time speaking test? Your favorite part of the show is coming. First, Let's get to the studio with Phoebe and our IELTS expert right now. Are you practicing the IELTS with IELTS Face Off? Are you racking your brains to find the right IELTS book? IELTS book are rare to find, mostly out of stock, overpriced. Well, there's a treasure of IELTS books waiting for you on tiki.vn. Just by logging on to tiki.vn, you can find immediately the IELTS book that you've been searching for. And of course, there are always discounts. Buying books is now so easy with tiki.vn. Just log on to tiki.vn and purchase. This is the IELTS Face Off expert section, and we have our lovely Oliver Holmes here with us. 
Thank you, so great to be here. Yes, we're going to go to a place that's quite warm and very beachy, um, Nha Trang. So our lovely friend Tung Dang is going to take us all the way to Nha Trang. Tung Dang, take it away. Hello Phoebe, hello studio. Here I am in the beautiful city of Nha Trang. And can you guess where I am specifically? Yes, it's a school. It's a very, very beautiful school. Um, this is Tôn Đức Thắng University, or TDTU for short. And uh, I came into the campus and I happened to find these four students. I caught them off guard, so I asked them to join me on the show. So let's do a round of introduction, shall we? Let's yeah. begin with you, the only gentleman we have here. Uh, my name is uh, Hồ Nguyễn Đắc Ân. Uh, I learn uh, hospitality. My name is Kiều Phan Thượng Nguyên, mm -hmm. and um, my major is English. My name is A Tiểu My. Hmm? My major is marketing. Right. My name is Tạ Thị Đương Nhi. My major is the same her English. Okay, so we have two English majors. You're in hospitality. You're going to be a marketer. Yes. Okay. This is a show about the IELTS, and I'm always interested in what our guests find difficult on the test. Now, you guys are not going to take the test anytime soon. You guys are going to take it in about like three or four years, right? So, I'm going to ask you anyway, what skill do you think will pose the most challenge to you when you take the test? What about you? I think it's a uh, writing uh, skill uh, because when I uh, look at uh, empty paper, okay. I don't have uh, any uh, uh, suggestion to write. Okay. Uh, uh, what about you two English majors? Uh, what do you think is going to pose the most challenge for you? For me, uh, the writing skill is definitely the most challenging skill. Writing as well? Yeah. Why? You guys have to write a lot in your yeah, study, but, right? Um, I think that my writing skill have been improved. But uh, when I was in grade 10, first time that I do the essay, my, my teacher gave me the topic. And when I look at the topic, <laughs> I couldn't think of any idea in my mm. head. Okay. So when I write, I make a lot of grammar mistakes. How has it improved? I learn a lot of like structures and okay. then, uh, I uh, study vocabularies so I can put it in my essay. So I write a lot. Okay, sure. Practice is key, yeah. right? What about you? Uh, the same, uh, I have a problem with writing. In writing, you must get high impress to get high grammar to impress the examiner. Uh, what about you? What, what skill do you think is going to pose the most problems for you? To me, uh, speaking is the most challenging one. Why? I thought like Nha Trang is like the perfect place to practice your English. There are so many tourists around. Why, why do you still find speaking a little bit challenging? Because it's a skill I have uh, less time practicing on. Now like uh, in basic uh, education like from grade 1 to grade 2. Okay. They only teach um, other skills, not speaking. Oh, that's true. Everything is about grammar, right? A very little uh, about speaking. So one of the nice things about IELTS On The Go is uh, that on the show, our guests uh, will have an opportunity to uh, practice speaking English with not only a native speaker, but someone who is also an IELTS expert who is going to give you very thorough comments on how you speak, how well you perform, and what your shortcomings are and how you can improve in the future, okay? But uh, I, I am being a little bit misleading here by saying our guests because there's four of you and there's only one person who can go into the test room, okay? So I'm going to let you guys decide among yourselves who is going to be the taker, okay? And I'm going to be back in a little bit, okay? So talk, 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 talk. I was hoping that the, that the boy would get to go because he's the only one that got to practice with like a native speaker. But I don't know, maybe he'll, he'll decide to be a gentleman and let the girls go. So I'm just gonna come back and check with them. Okay, so what's it gonna be? Uh, what, you're not gonna let the girls go and be a gentleman? No, no. no. Today is not the day to be a gentleman. And we have gender equality. Oh, okay, you have gender equality now. So you guys want to say anything to him before he goes? Go ahead. It's right this way. And so are you ready to face off with this person? Let's do it. All right. And yes, we have this guy, Duck An from Nha Chang, 
who will be the voice of this week. Will you be confident enough to face off our IELTS expert in the speaking test room? We'll see. And for the tips, tips, tips and tips section, we have the listening tips for you. If you can master the reading question technique, you will advance in the listening test. And this is the book of this week. Improve your IELTS reading skills. Don't go anywhere. Next part of the show is coming right now. Hi, my name is Oliver Holmes. Can you tell me your full name, please? My name is Hong Wei Nan. Let's talk about uh, tourism in your country. What do you think a visitor to your country should do or see? I haven't had many opportunity to uh, travel outside my hometown to uh, experience my country. But uh, from what I read, see, and uh, I would highly recommend tourists to uh, visit uh, Hội An. Hội An also have many uh, attractions like the Asian town, and Bà Beach, and the Nam Market. Now, I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say and you can make some notes if you wish. Here's your topic. I'd like you to describe a memorable event in your life. One of my most memorable events was uh, when I got my first job. Uh, it was in September last year when I just graduated from high school. My parents want me to uh, to get a job, to uh, experience new things, and to uh, know the value of money. So they want me to apply to this hotel. It's worth uh, a big a luxury in a um, five-star uh, five hotel. So um, I got uh, my paper, my CV, and, um, and the ap application, and so on, and apply for the job. My friends, uh, my, fam my relatives, and many people around me don't think I'm going to make it, don't think I'm going to got the job. So uh, it's what really affect me negatively. Um, and, uh, it made my mood down and I was thinking about it, applying for another job other than that. But um, the next day, when the human resource called me in, um, it was, there were so many people in the interview room. Uh, I think about the competition I had to get through for this job. It uh, made me very nervous. Um, the interview was very uh, intense, uh, very uh, nerve-wracking. Uh, <clears throat> I um, tried my best, and um, then uh, I got home and wait for the result. And um, the next day, they they sent me a, in an email and tell me that I got I got a job. Uh, I was so so happy. Um, and thank you very much. Now, I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to memorable events. How important are ceremonies in our lives? Ceremonies play an important role um, in our society, in our life. For example, that holiday is a ceremony. Um, it's for people, family and friends to come together to uh, show the love for each other and uh, exchange best wishes and also for people to, uh, to remember their ancestral lineage and so on. Thank you, that's the end of your speaking test. Thank you. Oh, there's our guy. <laughs> Someone looks happy. Well, how did the test go? Not so well. Not so well? <laughs> Why are you smiling? You, you, because you, I have a try. Okay, you, you, you did have a crack at the test. And, uh, and sometimes that's what we should be happy about, right? At least you gave it a try, you gave it your best, right? Are you excited about the comments? 
Yes. Okay, so let's see what they have to say about how well you do. So Oliver, what do you think of Duck Un's performance? Kept on speaking, which was good. There was a, a little bit more hesitation. One thing that I think he should really particularly pay attention to is his grammar. Uh, there were a couple of things that I noticed, like he said, I just graduated, and I think he should have said, I had just graduated. He also made a few mistakes with things uh, like uh, subject verb agreement. So he, he said, it have many attractions instead of it has many attractions and that happened uh, a couple of times also he seemed to drop some of the verbs to be uh, also he could perhaps use some more formal language mm. um, and that's the sort of language you could also use in a writing test as well uh, thank you very much for being on the show and I have a few presents for you guys here I have a few bag of goodies from VTV7 and the British Council here's a bag of goodies for you Here's some gifts for you. Thank you. All right. Here's one Thank for you. you. Uh, this one's for you. Yeah, well, absolutely. Well, I've had a lovely day in the Trang, lovely weather, lovely company, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. All right, but don't go anywhere yet because I'm coming back with some more tips, 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 and tips. All right, so just now was today's tips. What do you think about reading the questions before entering the listening section? Uh, well, I think it's absolutely essential that you're prepared before the listening exam and you're absolutely aware of how the listening exam is organized. Uh, if you are aware of that, then you'll know how many questions to read ahead in advance. So, uh, for example, if there are um, 10 questions, then you should read through those 10 questions uh, before you, you answer. I think it's particularly important as well to underline keywords or circle keywords before you listen to really focus your mind on those keywords. Uh, another point that I should make is that when you've identified the keywords, you should think of different ways of saying those keywords. Think of synonyms or perhaps even antonyms, uh, words which mean the same or words which are the opposite of what they said, so that you can listen for them in case they phrase it in a slightly different way. Mm. One final tip that I'd give is uh, to read slightly ahead of the questions you have to answer so that you know when your, your part will stop. Uh, and where each part will stop, um, just, just so that you're aware of the, the general structure of, uh, of the listening. That's fantastic. Well, Oliver, today's topic is on media. Mm -hmm. um, are there any fantastic or interesting or memorable media experiences that you've been involved in? Well, uh, this, I, I think, is the most memorable uh, media experience that I've ever been involved in. Uh, although I was on TV once <laughs> when I was a kid. Um, but I think that I was very, very shy, so um, uh, I didn't really get much screen time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if you are studying for the IELTS, you know, and you're looking for books, or if you're just interested in reading, uh, this is our section for you. It is our book of the week. Let's check it out. And this is the book of this week. Improve your IELTS reading skills. This book has a nice balance between language and IELTS test taking strategies and tips. There are a lot of useful vocabulary and phrases which are common in academic texts. Lots of short practice activities and advice throughout. The book is organized by common IELTS topics. Those are some fantastic books that you might want to read. So if you do want to search for them, make sure to log on to tiki.vn. You can purchase books anytime, anywhere. All right, Oliver, thank you so much. Thank you.
Today's topic is media darling, and our guest was Tui Ming. Obviously, Tui Ming has gone through a lot of difficult times in life, but you, as you can tell, she has a lot of opinions and she has a lot to offer to this world. And every one of us goes through difficult times. We face obstacles all the time, but media is basically a term to describe you know, things that can be judged or criticized or even praised by others. Um, and with all of our obstacles, we might be insecure or we, we might be a victim of potential media, um, of judgment. But I think after the session today, you know, I'd love to be able to be a lot stronger, be a little bit braver, to face our difficulties head on, and also to definitely create changes and be a force of change in this world. And until next time, we'll see you again. Ciao, 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 ciao.